the way we all convinced ourselves we were ugly just because the white boys at our school didn't find us attractive. And um, a lot of people tagged me in her video because she mentioned mine and I was gonna stitch it, but her stitches are turned off. But there's two quick things I wanna say. One, I'm so happy to see other black women speaking up about this because folks swear that we just make this shit like it's literally all in our heads when it's a very real shared collective experience. And two, I just wanna make clear that this doesn't even just apply to people who grew up in predominantly white spaces. Like it wasn't just the white boys who were making fun of my hair texture. It wasn't just the white boys who were making fun of my friends for having darker skin. There was a comment on that video, which I'm pretty sure got deleted, but it said, oh, you should just date black men then. And I responded and said, that would be great advice if black men liked us unconditionally. I already know there's gonna be hoteps and pick me's in my comments saying, well, black men do date black women. And you're right, a lot of them do, as long as we look a certain way. The way we all convinced ourselves we were ugly just because the white boys at our school didn't. I don't, I don't understand that um, when she was like, you know, if black men love this unconditionally, ain't nobody loving you unconditionally. Re love is very conditional. Love is very conditional. Love is very conditional. I don't know what black men will love you unconditionally. Like every love is conditional. And I don't, like I said, most black women, like when y'all be talking about y'all was mistreated growing up and the guys was talking about you in school and calling you names. They did that to other guys too. I don't know. I, I never understood how women sit here and talk about like, we guys talk about it too, but y'all seem like y'all don't pay attention to it. I was talked about in school plenty of times. It never killed my mom. I like my dad always told me, as long as they don't put their hands on you, you don't react. That's what my dad told me. As long as people don't put their hands on me, I don't do nothing about it. Because people, I, I'm African. They, they made fun of my last name. They made fun of my name and stuff like that. They call me African booty scratch, all that stuff. Like, you know, I was like, I, I didn't really care. Some people didn't even know I was African. But when they see my last name, they realize, and they ask me, are you African? Yeah, I was, I was telling people I'm African. I was proud where I came from. You know, I would say it. But it was like, you know, growing up, they laughed about it. And I never took it to heart. I never like, oh, my God, I'm hurt. People people going to talk about me to the day I die. <laughs> people going to talk about me to the day I die. S school was preparing you for real life. Once y'all transitioned to real life and stuff like that, y'all was going to school. I mean, y'all was going to college and stuff. Y'all was doing, you know, life and stuff, building families. People were still talking about y'all. Go to work, people talk about y'all. Y'all walk in the streets, people talk about y'all. Y'all on social media, people talk about y'all. People make it seem like, oh, I grew up and they talked about me. People are still talking about you. You on social media talking about people talking about you. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to talk about you. Come on now. It never stopped. It never stopped. People are still talking about you. It's not a trauma. People are going to talk about you. You're doing good. They're going to talk about you. You're doing bad. They're going to talk about you. But guess what? I'd rather be doing good than bad. Because when you're doing good and people are talking about you, and like I said, I will say, if they're not talking about you, something is wrong. If they're not talking about you, everybody knows if people are not talking about right in life, you need people to talk about you. You need people to be sitting here saying this about me, this about me. Because when I was in school, I won't lie, I had I wasn't the best looking guy. I'm not still not the best looking guy, but I have confidence in myself. You know, I carry myself how I want to carry myself. Like I'm I'm good. But I had a different type of confidence. I believe I was Usher when I was a little kid. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I was Usher. I came in school one time with a bubble coat on. I had like a low cut and my teacher saw the confidence. Like I, I walked in there with confidence. I didn't care that people thought I was ugly or whatever. I didn't care. I walked in there and they were like, you think you usher or something? You think, you, you know, they was like, he think he usher. I was like, yeah, I was feeling myself when I was younger. And when people talk trash about me, they call me ugly. They call me this. I was like, they only talking about me because they like me. I didn't even realize I was right back then because when women are literally constantly talking about you and they're always worried about you because some of the girls really, they like me. I just didn't know how to interact with women back then. But I was like, they're only talking about me because they like me. Because there's a lot of people in this classroom and they kept egging me on and talking about me. And I just sat there staring at me. I, I ain't never go back and forth with nobody. I joke with my friends. Like, I joke, I'll go back and forth with them. But the people in the classroom, like the popular kids and all that stuff, I wasn't one of them kids. I was not one of them kids. And when they talked about me, I was like, they like me. Them girls that used to talk trash about me, I was like, they, they must like me. They must like me. And that's how I went about life. Like, I go home. I was really happy when they started talking about me. But I can't stand him. I don't like him and stuff like that. I was like, oh, she liked me. She liked me. She really liked me. And I'm like, I walk in class and they start talking about me like that. And I'd be like, oh, they really must like me. Like, I haven't even spoken. They'll talk about my shoes. They'll talk about my clothes. I was like, they must love me. Because everybody else walked in. I'd be like, somebody got worse clothes than me. 
but they're still talking about me. And I always believed that when they talked about me, it was a great thing because they must like me. That's what I believe. I told myself it was like my delusional mindset at the young age. I used to tell myself, but it's, it became realistic and manifested to real, real stuff. When women talk about me, I believe they like me because you for what reason you're going to talk about me for? I don't talk about a lot of other women. I don't care. She's always pressed about what I do. Look how he walks. Look how he stand. Look what he dressed. I'm like, dang, she really must care. Because I don't care what she got on. I don't even think about her. I don't know who she is. I don't know her name. <laughs> but you got to build that. Women come on the social media talk about they talked about me when I was in school. They talked about everybody. Everybody got a story. Everybody got talked about. That's life. And you still get talked about as an adult. Get over it. Stop being a victim. We all got talked about. And like I said, you either embrace it or you play the victim. I embraced it. I loved it. Y'all talk about me in the comment section and stuff like that. Uh, y'all say y'all, he ugly. I'm like, hey, I liked what I seen in the mirror. You know, I'm happy. <laughs> I, I lived a good life. I lived a good life. If this is what ugly look like, I lived a good life. Like, that's just me. That's my confidence. I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid to do stuff I want to do. I have very high confidence in myself. You know, I'm not going to say I'm not overconfident. But I'm just confident in myself. And when people talk about me, sure, I, I love it. I love it. There's something y'all care about because I ain't talking about y'all. <laughs> So something y'all care about. But thank you, guys. I'm just saying, like, women, stop getting on this platform and talking about y'all. People worry about what y'all got going on. No, we all got talked about. Michael B. Jordan got talked about. Michael Jackson got talked about. Everybody got talked about growing up. We all been through it. And we're going to get, you're going to keep, it's going to keep happening to the day you pass. People are going to talk about you. That's just life. So it wasn't a black woman thing. It wasn't a black man thing. It was an everybody thing. Everybody get talked about. That's life. Stop being the victim and get over it. And don't make it seem like, oh, you know, it's just, you know, the, the, your hair texture and stuff like that. Man, I'm African. I heard about all the African booty scratches stuff. It was, you know, I never cared. I never cared. Even the dark-skinned Africans in school, they went in on them boys. Like, come on now. Like, I'm subscribed. Let's move on. Can I vent real quick? 